Hello everybody, welcome back to Five Idiots Part 2. Um, obviously all, we've done all the intros, so let's get down to business. Okay, so Neils, um, Neils. so uh, we we find ourselves at the top of... I've just moved you all to this map because it's simpler than, than back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, Flargo, you're you're moving. Give me your um, give me your. Uh, oh God, give me your stealth check, please. Yep, seducies. Like how fucking CPU intensive is this website? It's crazy. Yeah. It shouldn't be. It should be very because it's very server side. Uh no, it makes my entire computer run incredibly slow. Yeah, my CPU is being flattened. <laughs> yeah, it's using a lot of mine, yeah. I, I have no idea how to check. <laughs> <laughs> so that, okay, that, if, um, if that's the case, gentlemen, that may be because I made this map a little bit too detailed. Yeah, I mean, yeah, for, for me, it's fine. Like my computer's still running yeah, okay, but yeah, yeah, but that's that's because I, I I've been experimenting with different levels of detail, and I've got yeah. to kind of make it so that if if you were fine on the last map, Dadel, and this map's giving you a little bit no, of it's, trouble, it's been, it's been the entire campaign. Uh, okay, like if I have anything else open, that's gonna like sort. Of crush. Yeah, then that that I I apologize. I can't. You know, uh, maybe, maybe the same what? person who voted for no printers voted for no internet. <laughs> wow. We have great internet. It's the computer that's, that's getting fried. <laughs> Revenge for okay, so right. Let's go. So, um... Flargo Snarp, as you, you move slowly down the stairs, right? You leave the torchlight behind. Don't worry, just because you see the torchlight here doesn't mean that what's down here. You leave the torchlight behind. You stick to one side or the other, as you know to do, right? More shadow in the corners type thing. And you come to, you know, right? Like, as you come down the stairs, there's like a level where the ceiling is, right? And you get to a point where you can kind of peer ahead. And in front of you you see five of the of the cultists kind of i don't want to say that they're in a formation but they're they're watching the stairs hey, do they see me no they do not to your knowledge they have not reacted to you they're just watching the stairs all right so furthermore I... it's, it's furthermore it's pitch black down here I uh, telepathically reach out to Elliot, um, quickly just adding in, are you ready? Uh, I hope you're uh, feeling better. And then uh, <laughs> there are, culti there are cultists uh, down here, and it's dark, so put out the light. Uh, I can see five of them. I, uh, well, I, I can't communicate back, can I, but... I tell I I say to I say to uh, Elon you. Know. I mean, all, all all the thoughts that you think I can sort of hear, so you can't communicate uh, back. But like you don't get confirmation until I put another thought into your head, right? Well, I I focus really really hard on a thumbs up emote. <laughs> that looks like a penis. I communicate via emoji. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, that looks like a penis. <laughs> And then I and I say to Elon, you know, d d douse the light. Mm. And then okay, I okay. So um, so well, Flargo Snarp, you get idea. you Flargo Snarp, you get this, you get this, this, this weird image in your head of a no, a, a, a nemoji, and it's a little <laughs> gnomish thumb <laughs> sticking up. <laughs> Maybe what we could do is right. We could stay at the top of the stairs, right, and then lure them to the lure them to us, and then you know unload on them. As they climb up the stairs to try and come and fight us. <laughs> oh, no, what? <no. laughs> well, my crossbow and you know some spells. All right, all right, uh, all right. That's and then have the high right. ground to fight them with Dimitriov, the Axe Man. With my seven damage. Mm hmm. Four. 
I mean, you have to communicate this without me. I'm just giving you the heads up. But this is they're yeah. they're gonna be straight ahead when when you come down. Yeah, we gotta come down in darkness, or they'll they'll see us. Yeah, I I can go forwards to Daedal and tell him the plan, and we together we can we can uh, you know call you know get them to chase us. <laughs> oh, is, <laughs> Dude, that's is, a good idea. Um, so is is Elon putting out the torch? No, because we needed to look down and shoot right and, and fight. But we'll be at the top. Wait, right? so we'll the plan the was we, we're tricking them to come down, or what was the plan? We're, we're tricking them to we're leading them to come up, and then yeah, oh sorry, that was what I meant. Yeah, they yeah, have to yeah. Come down. And then we'll we'll be going down. <laughs> but then oh, we Jesus. don't. I guess we haven't got like a sixty foot a map of the sixty foot stairwell, have we? <laughs> No, not really. Um, you're at the, we're just, I mean, you're at the top of the stairs. It's not going to matter much once shit gets going. So we, let's just go down and fight, and then it'll be easier. <laughs> Watch out for choke points, back up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so how are, how are you doing this? So you said we're just going to go down and fight, so how are we doing this? Um, well, actually, so so he could light the f he could light the torch once we get down there, right, and then surprise them. Who is he and, and... Elon, right? So we could all we yeah, could so all go down. Remember, the minute you <laughs> we're going to go over this again. The minute you extinguish the torch, you have no vision, and are you going to trust Elliot and and uh, uh, Florgo okay. to lead you hmm. downstairs this time in the dark? <laughs> Why are we along with, with another torch? person? It's really fucking annoying, isn't it? We should have. We should next time. Next time we do a D and D campaign, we should all be just, flipping drow. Just charge. There's five yeah, of them. Just yeah. attack. Just oh my charge. god! Like they're yeah. like nomads. All right, let's just charge. Okay, now, um, Dadel, just so you know, or, or, I'm sorry, Flargle, you do see these doors on the left and the right, right? <laughs> right, right. See the yes, little symbols? I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh god, it's an ambush. I, uh, I, give, I give them a heads up that there may yeah, be I figured you were, uh, At this point, you all are learning stunning. how to communicate a little bit better, right? And, and Dato is giving you the the quote-unquote layout of the of the territory. Mm. Oh, the post Gentlemen, we're thinking. <laughs> the, prob the problem with the full frontal assault <laughs> is that there are flanking positions from which you know, additional enemies could attack. Right. So let's stay at the top of the stairs without, like, at the back of the room, right? Oh, you... Oh. Back of the room at the oh, top of the stairs. Oh, Dimitri! <laughs> so then we don't have just, to deal just, with not having a map of the and... stairs, right? Let's go down the bottom of the stairs, cast a spell at them, and then retreat up the stairs. Put some caltrops down. Ooh. Right? We'll put two caltrops down either side because it's a three wide staircase, right? So we'll put two caltrops on either side. You can come through and then leave another caltrop as you as you leave it, and then. Uh, or like you know, one of us can, and and then and then we then we just take them, and then we've got like a choke point, haven't we? We've got a choke point to lead them. Well, into. yeah, we, we only kind of need two, right? Because Dimmy can stand in the middle with yeah. caltrops on either side and forcing them into a like a like you say a choke point. Mm. Yep. Is that okay? So is that what we're doing then? Well, yeah. uh, let's see if Dimitri agrees. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's because they, cool. we're not under time pressure right now, are we? Because they have no idea we're here, I believe. And yeah, um, yeah, they're just chilling. I, I guess okay, we, so let, let's. They, they know you're here. Oh, they don't know you're here. Oh, oh, right, mm. sure, yeah, right. It's because the, you know, the last fight taught you that they know somebody's coming, right? Mm. Again, we're over four. You know, we're across four days of fighting now down in the catacombs. Mm. You've come back two days in a row. Took some. It took a gap of a week. Came back again, and that was yesterday. Mm -hmm. I disagree with everything. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like honestly, like what if one of them has a fire column that they can fire sixty foot that would just destroy all of us in one hit? That's true. I still feel quite singed from the last one. <laughs> I mean, that's still going to happen whether we're down there or up here. I think I think it's definitely better to lure them up to the room that's got a bit of light. No, it doesn't have any light in it, does it? But then, anyway, that like that well, room. It, well, Elon is still has the torch lit right now because I didn't want to mm. tell Elon to put it on. I didn't want to just cut your vision right away. Yeah, no, I think I think that's good. I think I think we 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 stay at the top of the stairs. 
like in the room, right? There's no need to be close than we need to be. We can just have, and then and then the the two night vision fellas can lure them, lure them up. I think that's a brilliant idea. Brilliant, Jimmy. Yeah, I think it's brilliant. Absolutely. I think it's actually brilliant. Fucking brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm in agreement. Yeah. Okay, so really quick, so if Elliot and 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 Flargo Scrub, let's 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 hammer this out. How are you going to lure them? So, well, f f first myself and Dak will place Caltrops at the bottom of the stairs. Then I'll move over to. Wait, where is Flargo? Oh, is he invisible? No, you should be able to see Flargo. I can't see him. <laughs> I can see him. He's right next oh. to you. <laughs> oh, I God, I thought he was further down the stairs. I thought he was in the middle no, of the room. He's, he's, he's right next to you. <laughs> oh. I just moved you guys into this map, and oh. I'm assuming he hasn't moved this close, otherwise they would see him, right? So, so, so I, I can... Uh, he was telling me this psychically, but I can already see everything myself. I can see the cultists. He was telling the... you that when we were, we were at the top. <laughs> he, he just put us on this map so oh, that we I can see. I put you guys on this ah, map, yes. Because right. I'm assuming you know, again, right. you guys are learning to communicate. This yes. is not something that I, uh, you know, that uh, what I don't want to do is slow down this thing for our fans and for us because me telling him, tell them this, me telling yeah. you know about, I'll, I'll just move you all down here. Dadel has laid out the fact that this is a large sized room. There are doors on either side. There's currently five cultists. So, so how I propose it works is that J Jimmy, um, Daka, Dimitrov, and uh, the Elon sort of stay where they about are now, or go to where they about are now on the map. Put the caltrops down. Me and Flog will go forwards, cast a couple of spells. You know, we, we head into I don't know about uh, how much range. Do they? Do, do they? The cultists have a light source. I mean, if we go no. down here, they'll see the no. light, right? That, that's the thing. So I'm saying, I'm saying we should stay in the the, the room we we are in, right? At the moment, although we're on this map, at the moment, Dimitrio, well, the four of us are in the other room, right? The the upper level. You guys are, are at the top of the stairs, back a little bit, so the torchlight isn't. The torchlight goes down about 15 feet on the stairs because right. at that point the ceiling comes into play, all of that good stuff. Yeah, so I'm saying we, Scarf we stay is there. literally at the bottom of the stairs. He I um, shouldn't say that. He is at the he's at the most he's at the lowest point where you can see under the ceiling yeah. and give you a report of that. Yeah. He has no feeling whatsoever that they have spotted him. I think we should stay like you know where, where like we don't alert them, right? We don't alert them with our torches. It's the biggest thing. So I don't think we should come down the stairs, basically. And when I say we, I mean the humans. Okay, so you stay at the top of the you stay at the top of the stairs on the previous one, and yeah. just put the put the cow tops just in front of you on the stairs, I guess. Yeah. And then and then me and Dado will. Well, uh, the problem I mean, is where did... are the enemies going to go, right? Because there's not not a lot of space on the map, so maybe to make the fight easier, we should stay at the back of that room. <laughs> wait, wait, I don't understand. Why does that make it easier? Well, because then there'll be space for like the enemies to come in, because there's not a lot of spaces there. Like, well, yeah, so we we don't want to give them space, right? Only one can spawn at a time. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Good thinking, <laughs> good thinking, Nom. <laughs> Okay, so um, so Caltrops on left and right sides of the stairs, approximately halfway down, we'll say, or all the way at the top. Where near near the top, I think, right? Okay. So near the top, and then yeah, uh, Elliot and troop on the Caltrops as soon as as close to us as possible, because it slows them okay, down. So right? so we want to use it. We, we want to use that to stop them charging us, so we get more turns of shooting and spell casting and what have you. Okay, so Elliot, if you are your is your intention to move down with Dato Quist into the room once that's done? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I, the thing is, should I? Because I'm slower than Dato Quist is the only thing. So, in terms of running away from the cultists, I might get caught because I'm, mm -hmm. I'm slow. Yeah, I mean, like it, it only takes one to draw their attention. Like right? maybe Dato should just go by. It's Plagal should just okay. go by himself. So Dato, you're down. You're now. This is done. There's Caltrops. We'll just say behind you at the top of the stairs. Um, you know where they are. You're not gonna. In, I'm not gonna make you roll to try to dodge them. You know if you make a straight beeline back up, you're safe to run in that route. Yep. Um, what do you do down here now? We'll say you're exactly where you are. We'll say that's kind of where the ceiling line is. Again, you see no I, light uh, source down. You see no light source down below. I take out my bow and shoot them. No. Oh.
crossbow. Are you able to do that? Am I? Yeah, you should still be able, even though we're not in combat, you should still be able to target them. And then you just just use your, go ahead and I'm, I'm going to give you an attack of opportunity here because they don't see you as far as you know. Could I cast a spell before he does that or is it too late? No, if you want to, it's this is this is kind of like your prep, your setup. Mm, and I... we'll say that Daedal's, when you guys hear the wing of his crossbow, that's when you know something might go down. So could I cast Bless before he sh shoots? Absolutely, you yeah. may. Who are you going to bless? Uh, I'll bless Flargle and uh, and the two big boys. I mean, D D Dimitrov and Daka. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as soon as what I'll do is... Um, let's see. So, uh, Flargo, you'll get a plus 1d4 to your roll. I don't want to start the bless spell yet because that starts the counter. Mm. Okay, so now now roll a 1d4. Or... I'm sorry. That's So, yeah, right, Elliot rolled his initiative. Thank you. You guys can do the pop out for combat. But um, go ahead and target who you're going to shoot at, Flargo. Roll a 1d20. Which ones had the most attack, the daggers or the uh, scimitar? The daggers have the most health. All right. Unless so... I changed that from last time, huh? <laughs> Unless so, yeah. Unless, yeah. Oh, Dimitri. I'm shooting the one in the back. Uh, wait, no, that's probably, I can't, maybe I can't do that because it's too far back. So I'm if just it's... gonna shoot the closest one. Okay. So now open up your character sheet, you've already got it, and then just click on your crossbow. Yeah, you should be in range uh, for this one. Are you using the measuring tool right now? Is that what you're doing, or? I'm just doing it with me. No, I'm not doing anything. Oh, was, was, that, uh, me, was that you? Okay. <laughs> yeah, just, you should be in range of the furthest one. Oh! Okay, beautiful. So now, um, so that does strike, obviously. Roll for damage. Fucking great at this game. Nice shot, by the way. Thank you. Oh, <coughs> says what type of damage now? Yep, mm -hmm. we've got some updates that have occurred, gentlemen. Very nice. So you you plug him right. You plug him right in his, his right. We'll just say his left shoulder blade or um, shoulder front. It goes right into him. Fight! And then what are you doing right now? I'm beelining back. I'm, I'm uh, yelling at them, suckers, and then beelining back. <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll for initiative, please, in your combat tracker. And then I'll start combat, and then we will. I'll put the bless condition on the three of you. Oh my god, we rolled so bad at initiative. <laughs> I like going last. <laughs> Okay, so <clears throat> at this point, so you you yell out, you know, in in your in your best goblin insults, right? You little whatever, whatever, um, and you you beeline back up the stairs, and they know, you know, Doc and all of them know you're coming. They're not going to fire at the first thing that they see. Um, Dimitrov is up there; his axe's wheel is out. Elliot, do you have your mace out? Do you have just your shield out? What do you have? Just my shield. Okay, do you have that reflected on your character sheet? Equipped, I mean? Uh, yes. Okay, perfect. I want to make sure we get the correct AC rolls. And you wait about 15 seconds and you hear nothing. <laughs> Another 10 or 15 seconds passes and you don't hear much below. You hear some shuffled movement a little bit, but you don't hear... You don't hear boot, boot, boots, you know, running up the hall. You don't hear, let's go get them, boys. You don't hear anything like that. All right, get them again. Get them again, Flaggle Snap. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, <laughs> this time, <laughs> how many spell slots do I have? Oh, oh convoluted. Can I make this? <laughs> yep. Okay, so. Are you moving back All down right. again? If you are, you need to give me another I'm... stealth check. Yeah, I'm going to cast invisibility on myself. 
Okay. So make sure you target yourself Wait, and then hit the you attack, spell. it ends. Like yes. That. But before before doing anything else, I will also uh, give myself Dragon's Breath. Oh. <laughs> are, are, we, are we updating the, the combat tracker, by the way? I'm just... I don't want the bless to last longer than it should. No, it's it's it now. It doesn't move until we. Um, it, your six seconds each time doesn't go until a new round starts. Yeah. Once we start combat, that starts ticking. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I guess you can bless like as a yeah as a thing, right? Like, yeah, he would have done it right. The yeah. minute he heard the thwang, he blesses. You yeah. guys all prepare. But I I heard the thwang and the combat started right. Yes. So, why isn't it... But the blood flat, it's not doing anything. Should, shouldn't we be following the combat tracker now, is what I'm saying. Well, yeah. Well, there... Yes. We are following the combat tracker. Nothing is... They're not following you. So, so they are just... Because it's on blood fanatic now, right? It is currently on blood fanatic. Oh, so are you saying you want to go before Flargo goes? Well, no, that's <laughs> fine. I'm, I'm just... I just think no, just no, he's saying it should be like round four or whatever. He said, no, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I, I see where you're going with this. I apologize. I didn't understand you before. No, I'm no, sorry. No worries. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure if it's the right thing to do or not, right? But yeah, just just to keep things ordered, I thought. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just stay here. Stay here. Um, um, yeah, maybe should have. Actually, I'll equip my crossbow. Uh, does that cost an action? I always no, it does not. No. Okay, can I ready a shot then with my crossbow? Yeah, absolutely. It's already loaded. We'll assume it's you know there's some. Uh, Hate to say, I mean, is there a safety on a crossbow? But it's fine. It's 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 loaded and ready. Okay, so um, when just remember to take your shield off, safety. obviously. Yeah, I've taken it off. So when it, when a cultist or or fanatic starts moving towards me, then I want I want to shoot at them. Yep. Same. Yep. With me. And, same with me. Same, same with you, Daka. Yep. Okay, yep. Elon is waiting for Dimitriov's. <laughs> Elon sees a little bit of, of 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 doubt in Dimitriov's eyes about the plan. <laughs> And uh, gives a soft, play. not not a not a big snicker, but like a little soft snicker, right? And um, I, and I, just he kind of looks over at Dimitrov, and Dimitrov, you kind of make eye contact, and you both ready yourselves. Yeah, I just say like in the words of Braveheart, "Hold." <laughs> Uh, have we? Have, I I can't see Dimmy by the way. I, yeah, yeah Dimitriov's camera, his his yeah. camera's frozen. He looks like he's ready for a. He looks like Popeye getting ready for a fight there, <laughs> with his jawline. <laughs> he does. He's like, Arr. <laughs> even Dadel's not moving. I don't think. No, he's just very. Oh, no, stuck. there Dadel's moving now. Okay, but yeah, crazy. Dimitriov, your camera's frozen, brother. Yeah, it's a good look. Okay, Flargo, you're up, brother. All right, can I grant myself Dragon's Breath? Yeah, absolutely. Remember, target yourself, and then let me add it to your character sheet. Am I targeting myself? No. It's not letting me target myself, but I'm still targeting the guy. Okay, so you have to untarget him. and then target no. yourself. Um, or just, just click on yourself should be enough and just go ahead and hit it. Or did you want me to click? No, no, no yeah, that's good. All right. Okay, so remember in your character sheet now, did you, did you cast a spell? Perfect. Yeah. Yes, now, so, in your yeah. character sheet, remember you have you have a, a cantrip that does not use a spell slot. That's yeah. called Granted Dragon's yeah, Breath, yeah, and that's what yeah. you use to set your template and all that good stuff. I, if I, you I remember from yeah. last time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. I'm adding now into the catacombs. All right. Give me a stealth check with advantage. <laughs> no, no, you may be fine with that. I'm invisible. <laughs> when you get down there, however, there's nobody in the in the room any longer. All right, I head over. 
over here to peer into this room. I'm assuming you're communicating with the others? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Without me. Okay, so he tells you there's nobody else, there's nobody in that room any longer down below. Uh, they've split. Um, with what do we do? Go go forward, I suppose. Okay, inside of inside of that room, Flargo Snurp is another two wooden cages. Right, well, um, empty as well. Um, you see that you see basically what's before you: some blood on the ground, some broken shields, broken barrels. Well, since we're not getting jumped now, then maybe we can we can go down to the bottom of the stairs here, and uh, you know at least we've not got jumped, right? Yeah. So keep the torches uh, off. Yeah, keep the torch, keep the torch up, and that's just. Well, but if the torch is off, they won't be able to see. You know, keep yeah, the torch up. They keep can the hold... torch up. Oh, they... up. sorry. Oh. Yeah, keep the torch up and. Uh... What up? No, I meant off. Um, I mean, I. I... Oh, we're not, we're not getting jumped, hand. right? We're not getting jumped. No, but hold your hands on Elliot's shoulders, like he can lead you into the darkness. <laughs> no, we could fall down like sixty foot and die. <laughs> I gotta get a screenshot of Dimitriov with that face, dude. That's brilliant. <laughs> That's like the Elliot one that he uses for your. Uh, <laughs> for all for, all. <laughs> for my conga line. <laughs> We've done okay, so am I, am I, we got to make a decision, gentlemen. Am I extinguishing this torch or not? No, we're going down with the torch because we, we, we can't get I mean, jumped, can. right? We, we can't get jumped, so it's all right. Okay, so who goes next? Flargo, go ahead and end your turn. No, no, you used your movement to get there, brother. Yeah. Dimitrio. Dimitriov, you're up. What are you doing, sir? Oh, we Hang lost him for a sec, didn't we? Hang on, it's Blood Fanatic. <laughs> it's Blood Fanatic, yeah. What are you doing, Blood Fanatic? <laughs> he's, he's working on it real hard. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is wild. <laughs> oh, looking over, you see Dimitriov, and he's frozen. <laughs> a paralysis spell. Hmm. I'm back. You're 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 back, but your camera's not on. Oh, hold on. Let me figure that. Out. I mean, we can proceed without the camera, can't we? Worst case. Of course, yeah. That's what I'm. I'm just asking oh, what he's go. doing. Okay, okay there. We got you. Time. You're moving now. <clears throat> Good. Let's go. What are you doing, Dimitriov? Oh, uh, well, nothing, apparently. Like, no, no, we're coming down now. We're coming down now, Dimitri. They decided to come down the stairs. So you were next up. Uh, can we see any enemy? I can't see any bad guys. Uh... No, there's no bad guys. You, have your, full, you have your full yeah. movement from there. You can do your 30, or you can do your, 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 um, your sprint with an additional 30 if you want. We're still very much in combat. You just don't see any enemies ahead. I'm gonna... Oh, there's one around this corner. I think. No, this room is empty. Well, it's like... I don't know, it's blood. But the one on the right with the two waffle cages. Yeah, you waffle can see cages. me ahead of you. I'm, I'm, I'm invisible and have all the door. He can't, he can't see you, no the whole thing, there. right? <laughs> ah, okay. So I'll take my movement and then I guess that's it, right? Nothing to do. All right, Elliot, you're up, sir. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll equip my shield now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just move forward up to Dimitriov. Oh, what's this? Daka? I'll go ahead. Daka, Daka. And uh, ready a shot in case I see an enemy. Okay, so now he, this is this is the tougher part, right? You can't aim at six different spots. <laughs> so what are we? Uh, I'm aiming at the the gap at the end okay. of the room. Yeah, I'll allow that definitely. I think with your skill set, even though this is thirty feet across, if you're aiming in that general direction, you'll be able to snap a shot on anything that comes around that corner. Cheers. Hey, we have a light. Actually, he'll move in behind Dimitriov here. Power. All right, Flargo Snarp, you're back up. That's the invisible guy. Mm 
Anyhow, can I open the door? Yeah, you can definitely open the door. That's a simple action. I, I made something on the floor. Sorry, it's annoying me. I can't get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> what did you make? <laughs> 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 uh, Thank you. Are you not house trained, Elia? <laughs> I'm sorry. I've made a boo-boo on the floor. Can somebody clean it up? <laughs> that was brilliant. It was actually brilliant. Yeah. Okay, again inside here, another couple of cages, one smaller than the other. Um, on the ground, like, here you see a, a, a broken vase. Um, there's, again, it's just in it, it, larger rooms than upstairs, um, doored, um, but same situation that you see here. Can I start singing? <laughs> if if you want I'm to, out, you can sing. I'm out wherever you are. <laughs> you hear? Give me a give me a perception check. That's you know what these. Give me a perception check at this point. You guys have, you guys have have, have done a number on these cultists here in the past. I want to see something. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. You don't nothing. you don't you don't hear anything. I'm too busy singing. <laughs> I'm having fun being invisible. I'm all Dimitri on your sir. Enveloped in my hijinks. Oh yeah, I'm so bad at ending turn, I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, Dimitrov, again, you know, this is this is kind of raising the hackles on the back of your neck, right? You know they're down here somewhere. Your axe yeah. is ready. Axe is ready. I mean, there's not much to do. I can't see anyone. No, I know, but I'm just saying. I mean, you're this is this is a little bit unnerving, right? Elliot, you're up, sir. I am unnerved. <laughs> no. I tap Dimitrov on the shoulder. But, well, I. No, I, I I I glance at Dimitrov's hand to see if the ring is still there. Dimitrov, did you put the ring back on? Because you took it off at the end of the no, last. No, no, no. I took it off and put it back on. Okay. Okay. So I took so it, it off. is back on. Okay. So, <laughs> Elliot, you you there's a, some a very small semblance of of comfort from that, right? Like, considering everything that's happened. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'm I'm still. this you know this 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 bond between us, you know. Um strength is the barriers that are holding back the tide of negativity. <laughs> Jimmy. Okay, Flargo, Flargo wow. Schnarp, you're up, sir. I stop the ball three. <laughs> okay, if you you look to your left, you can see one of the cultists kind of around the corner there. Mm. All right. And inside this door, so he's not perched on top of the cage, all right? Inside the <laughs> cage, you see a, a human male. His um, his robes are, um, they're, I don't want to say, they're, they're not like, they're not torn to hell, but they're, they're obviously torn a little bit. They're still relatively clean. What I want to get at is this guy hasn't been down in this, in this cage for, you know, five months. He's here, he's a relatively fresh guy, but he has been disheveled. He's got a large bruise on one of his cheeks. He's got some blood running down from his nose. Um, he, You open the door, and it's completely pitch black in there as far as he's concerned, and you know this, because he starts kind of looking around, and, and like the fear of, of of a god like kind of is in his eyes. Who's there? Who's there? What's who's? Can, just leave us alone. I, I have how many feet? I have 10 feet of movement left, right? Yeah, because you only move twenty so far. How many feet does he have? <laughs> oh, oh, uh, why are you in here? I whisper. I whisper everything now. I don't know why we're in here. These, these red-robed figures took us. Who are we? You mean? There were several of us. There were seven of us, I think. Seven or eight. They got out of all of us. Where are you from? From Victor. Where are you? Who are you? Why can't I see you? Well, we're here to kill the cultists. I, can I open the cage? 
you want to help it's, us kill the cultists. If you, yep. Yeah, if you, if you're gonna interact with something like that, then that would break your invisibility, right? Uh, wait. Give me a second. Yeah, pull it open and check. Just tell me what breaks invisibility. Yeah, and I think it's just spellcasting and attacks, but I'm not sure. Yeah, when the tar um, okay it ends for a target that attacks or casts a spell. So yeah, you could open this still invisible if you choose. Yeah. There is a large lock on it. It's not a simple, like, he's, the door is not, he could have, it's not a situation where he could have opened it himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do, do you want to help us uh, kill the cultists? Kill the I cultists? Agree. I just want to live. Get me the hell out of here. What are you doing? Open the goddamn cage. Killing the cultists is how you live. <laughs> just open the cage. What are you doing? All right, next, uh, Demetria, what are you doing? Muted. Um, you lot made me really wary. I think we I might... made you wary. Oh, you, you would be really wary, right? You knew there were five down here somewhere. Down here somewhere. So, can I like hide behind this corner and then like so, ready and ready and attack? Yes and no. No. But what hide means is like hide, right? If you cross this threshold. I'm not going to cross the threshold. Wise. Like, can I ping? How do I ping the wall where I want to go to? Just hold, just hold down your click. Yeah, no, I, I understand uh, what you're doing, but uh, what I'm telling you is, if you move there, anything on the right hand side or on the corner definitely won't see you. Anything but, that may have vision on the left side will see you moving there. Can. Do you can see? You, do you see what I'm getting at? Yeah. Uh, can you throw it? torch or not no it will yes stay it stays lit. and it stays yeah, lit for about one round it'll oh, start okay. to go out i'll probably let it stay lit for a little while longer because generally it's a turn that it goes down but it's not going to stay lit for long right you've you've taken away half the oxygen torches are made to be burned upright or somewhat upright in their construction all right i'm gonna i'm gonna move um oh my god i've got this ping thing on i i feel i'm just gonna move oh hang on let me ping is it is like this, oh my God! <laughs> you shouldn't have to click anything uh, else to yeah, ping yeah. other than holding down your left click. Yeah, I'm not holding it down. I'm clicking 700 times because I'm a crackhead. <laughs> um, it, this, guys, does it look good if I move here, or is this too far? I mean, if it's you within can just 30 move feet, shops, can't you? Can't you just like move? Oh, it is 30 feet, yeah. And then move another five and see if you see okay, anything. Okay, so okay. We, can we cover that again, Doc. If there is anybody like that has a ready to action for the minute they see an enemy, yeah. his movement would stop because their action like, would engage. If he sees anything as that. well, right? If he sees anything, that's a thing. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, what if, that, for example, right? If he goes up to here, but then he... Oh, oh I, I'm stopping here. I'm stopping here. <laughs> so, he, so you can't... So, Doc, you can't say, like, my ready to action is I'm going to move five feet. No, and no, if I not see a ready to action. Jack, but what I'm saying is, right, like, l let's say I moved forward. Well, as you can see, Dimmy there, right? 20 foot, right? That's 20 foot for me. If I move 20 foot, then I can see an enemy. Whether it's not about having any readied actions or whatever, I want to be able to move twenty, shoot them, and then move back ten. Do you know what I mean? Rather than just clicking thirty in front. See what I mean? That's what I was getting at. Yes. Oh, okay. However, if they have a ready action for the first time, they see an enemy, their action would pre preclude yours. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can see an enemy. Well, yes, you can see, I an, see enemy. an enemy. So uh, Dimitriev. So they're just watching. They're not. Um, they're not, there's not, you know, they don't have a crossbow readied. They okay. don't have the dogs. They're, they're, he's looking at you like, I mean, you're, you've made eye contact with this guy. And you're both kind of staring at each other from, you know, 60, 70 feet there. Uh, right. Maybe shorter, 50, 60 feet. So one, two, three. So I can move. Okay. I'm going to move like to the wall and press up against the wall. Oh. Okay, and you can see those other two as well. And they're yeah. all ready. They've got their weapons. They're like kind of standing there. They're all of them are making eye contact with you. Uh, yeah. Like if, I'll press up against the wall, and that is my turn. But you can ready in action, right? You can ready in attack. Yeah, I'm ready in my axe. Uh, of, like, well, obviously, I say obviously. I am ready in my axe, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I figured. I figured you would. Yeah, and and I I I would assume. That because you didn't make an attack action, that if they run into you, the first one that would have made contact with you, you would swing out first. 
Yes, first one. Yeah, you're not unless you tell me I'm just gonna stand here and let him hit me, I'm gonna assume you're gonna Yeah, first one. Just guy. like Daka, right? If Daka ends his thirty feet, I'm already assuming, Daka, that you're like anything comes around that corner, that sucker takes one in the head. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna glance over at Daka if he can see me and I'm gonna go. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I'll go. <laughs> 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 okay, this one kind of moved. You see the first one, Dimmy, move back out of your view. Yeah, he disappeared. Caught in me. Two. The second one moves back out of your view, Dim. The third one comes charging at you. <laughs> Elliot, you're up, sir. <laughs> Need to zoom in. I'm zoomed out too far. Uh, Say again, sir. I'm oh, sorry, I was just zooming in. Uh, I just look at Elliot and go. <laughs> I'm, I move up. I, well, up. what, what, what exactly can you see, Dimitrov? Because all I can see is a wall. Uh, no, 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 no. There was yeah, three. Yeah. There was three. Oh, okay. But they're, they're, they're behind the wall to the left. Uh, okay, okay. Um, I cast thaumaturgy. Uh, and my voice booms up to three times louder than its usual volume. Up and, to three um, times louder! Uh, yes. Squeaky. <laughs> even loud. Rowdy! <laughs> You've heard me booming. Like, this is nothing. What's that? Oh, that's a bit rowdy. <laughs> <laughs> Squeakily, I, 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 I call out to the cultists. You know, cultists, you are charged with, you know, murder and destruction. Um, you know, your time is at an end. Your master will be put to death by us. Uh, you know, you, you have a chance now to surrender yourselves. Uh, and then I am my turn. All right, Daka, you're up, sir. Okay. I will go 20 here. All right. Another five. Oh, I can see a guy. Okay, so he's got a he's got his dagger out, dude. He's looking at you, I, eyeball to eyeball again, and he's got no movement right now. He's not making an action. No, oh, well, I am. <laughs> I figured you were. <laughs> first, I shall say, I shall say. Actually, first of all, I shall say, surrender or die. <laughs> and then, before he has a chance to surrender. <laughs> <laughs> you say this ass, you know. Come out with your hands up and throw a grenade in there, and then you just toss the grenade. <laughs> yeah. yeah boom. As, you let, as you let loose the string on your crossbow, you say surrender Ooh. or die. Ooh, and you proceed to miss, of course. Yeah. Uh, do you want to surrender? <laughs> <laughs> yes, surrender is still an option. <laughs> <laughs> that was a shot. <laughs> Bonus attack, please. Oh god, right, so I've got to do damage anyway, right? I've got to do damage there. Yeah, right, I've got to do damage. That's fine, yeah. And then just, um... Yep, yeah, so now I can do the next one. Right. So this is the bonus one. <laughs> Surrender or die. <laughs> Wait, right over his head. <laughs> oh, okay, this there. one strikes. Yeah, this one... <clears throat> so, he takes the, so the first one misses, flies over his shoulder, right? <laughs> Maybe you were just a little bit too zealous. You weren't scared. You weren't, you know... That was a warning shot. That him. was letting him surrender. Right? <laughs> that was a warning <laughs> shot. And then you fling him once more. Go ahead and hit for damage, or roll for damage, please. Oh. Oh. So once again, man, you hit him almost 10 ring, right? But this, I mean, you're learning where the most most penetrable portions of an individual's body are, right? <laughs> you're not shooting for the clavicles. You're shooting for... <laughs> Right. <laughs> Shut up. Shooting for the mouth. So your 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 bolts are just when they're striking, they're going deep. Right. You're in the in your anus. Flesh. <laughs> There's no way I can win this, is there, Jim? No. 
Hey, hey Coltis, can you turn around for me, please? <laughs> We, we agreed we weren't going there with this with this adventure. Remember, Jim? It's difficult. Remember? It's difficult, though, isn't it? It's difficult not to. I mean, don't, don't phrase it like that, then. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's true. You. No, but that's a you. You could have phrased it a number of ways, and you chose to say, you are learning where the most penetrable parts of a human body is. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Right. I'll go back a little bit after that, anyway. Five foot back. And, uh, yeah, obviously... Brett him pretty hard there, badly injured after one shot, glorious. Um, and then I'll go, there's one over there, boys. How, how many? <laughs> well, one. One. Like, just one. Okay, so Elon, I'm assuming, Dimitrov, so this is now now the question, is Elon following you? Or is Elon going to kind of, and, and Elon is as simple as you can simply make eye contact with him and he'll understand your commands. You don't necessarily have to make a verbal command with him, though. If you want him to do anything overly complicated, it will require a verbal command. But for you to like simply nod to him to like over there or you know at my side or something like that, he'll obey that. Well, I'm gonna say at my side because I do not want to lose Elon. So, like behind me, like yeah, 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 perfect. Uh, well, like yeah, yeah, that like in his legal range of movement. <laughs> yeah, which is fine. Well, he can dash. He can use the additional five. He just wouldn't be able to attack or anything. Nah, uh, like, I, I am seeing Elon as, like, the new Faps. Like, we can't let this guy die. Like, Okay, well, Florida Smurf, you're If we upstairs? do let him die, at least that'll neatly wrap up. <laughs> <laughs> it'll neatly wrap up the adventure. Florida Smurf, you're up. All right. Uh, you, you got an option. Either you pick up the scimitar out here and help us kill the cultists, or I'd let you stay in here. Okay, so you haven't opened the cage, obviously, right? No, no. He, has, he now has light from the torch yeah. from Elon. And now yeah. he's even more startled, right? Because you're nowhere to be found. All you are is a voice. Yeah. Now he's backing up into the cage. He's like he's like cornering himself. What, what magics are this? It's dragon magic. Are you going to help us pick up the scimitar? Or do you want to stay in here? Just open the cage. What is what is wrong with you? All right. You're not going to leave me here. Just open the cage. If you help us kill them, otherwise I'll leave now. Open the cage. Yeah, that's not it. Yes. You've, you've got to you've got to move. You got to do your action now. Or I'm moving on here. Yeah, I'm moving out. So, Dimitrov, as you pass to your wait, right, wait, 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 you wait, saw... wait, wait. I I uh, I still got movement left. There. Yep. No, no. I'm just telling them what. Dimitrov, you saw the individual in the cave. Daka, you see the individual in the cage. Elliot, you mm -hmm. see him as well. Elon sees him. That's all within your purview, obviously. I just wanted to point that out. Yeah, yeah I so see him. Like, I just don't really want to let him out until we know more about him. Yeah, exactly. So that's fine. I just want to make sure you know that, you know. As long as you know, you know. <laughs> Is that it, Flargal? Uh, yeah, sorry. No, you're fine. Okay, the guy. So, Daka, the guy who took that man, he's gone. He's gone. He took that shot, and he's moving back. Diced. Dimitriov, you're up, sir. Daka, just one around this corner, yeah. Yep. Right, so I'm gonna charge. So, how do I do this? I'm gonna. Uh... So we can click your 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 under your um, abilities. I think it is abilities. Uh, yeah, it's under features. Under so. features, thank you. Under uh, the charge action, and then just take your movement. So I don't go stand a roll yet. Uh... You've already got it active. See, it's showing on your sheet. Okay, right. so stop there really quick. Um, um, you're going to complete your action. I just want to make sure you know. You do see three cultists now to your left as you round this corner. Yeah. Well, I knew the three were there anyway. Yep, exactly. But I'm just confirming that. All right, and then I charge in here. And then I, uh... Where's my character sheet gone? X. Oh, I haven't fucking... There you go. Oh, my God. Whoa. What are you worried about? 19, dude. Oh, was it? 
Yeah, because you got all of those all of those uh, bonuses. Yeah. 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 You've got <laughs> you, you've got turn plus it into five Naka, rates. but no, not with the damage, man. Yeah, you've got plus five instead of my minus five. <laughs> yep. Oh, I can't even re-roll that. Wow. Diced. Yeah. Okay, so you sink that axe uh, nice and deep there. And uh, that's all I can do for now. Time. You see, also don't don't forget. I, I know you see it on your map, but that's the one. That's the injured one that Daka shot back there. Yeah, so I signaled to Daka. <laughs> I only uh, saw one. <laughs> yeah, I bet you did. Too. I'll go back like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Those fanatics are going to stay where they're at. Not very fanatical of them. <laughs> no. <laughs> God damn it, I positioned myself shittily. I regret everything. <laughs> Just want to be a phantom rogue. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, this door here opens. And you can see, Elliot, you can see two more coming out of that door there. I can. Mm -hmm. I can. But, so, so this Elliot, fanatic you, you here could have is going to... Elliot could have had a, a react move, right? And so could Daedal. Speaking of... Speaking of saying... So, oh, Elliot, would that, have been, would that have been your reaction there? If he, cause did, did you re remind me? Did you re-ready your crossbow? No, and I'm not... I, I have thought my, you did, and you pulled out your shield again. I, yeah, I do, and I, I'm not even sure I want to engage them. I'm a bit confused about their behavior, to be honest. Okay, so the one that Dimitriov engaged is going to engage him with the dagger thrust. Two of them. Okay, I'm unconfused. Because <laughs> <laughs> I could have, like, a cantrip well, this isn't something... Me. Oh, shit. This isn't something you can see, right? You hear yeah, the right, din of battle yeah. around the corner. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Dimitrov, you take four points of damage. Elliot, you immediately know that Dimitrov is in trouble because you take four points of damage as well. Oh, of course. Cool. Oh, is the spell still active? Oh, no, wait, no, I didn't I didn't cast it yet. I didn't actually cast it. Which oh, spell? So take, yeah, no, no, you War didn't. Warding you didn't, bond, so yeah. I take Oh, eight. I'm sorry. I thought you meant that you cast it when you looked at his ring. Oh, I ah, take, no, 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 I take eight. Okay, so then Dimitriov takes eight. You don't know anything. Damn, I should have. I should have cast a hit. God damn. I apologize. I thought when you looked at the ring, I thought that was you telling me you were. No, it wasn't. But I should have. Oh. I should have cast it. Oh well. I just thought okay, it was his second making dagger sure thrust. you could cast it in future if you wanted. <laughs> yeah, I, I was, but I should have thought. I, thought. I also thought that you cast it then. And five points of damage there, Dimitriov. So you've taken thirteen now from two quick dagger thrusts. Let me. These daggers are lethal. What's, what good is it? This, uh, this cultist kind of moves in behind this other one in the doorway, Elliot, that you can see. Elliot, it's your turn. Okay. Four. Well, I, I, I still have the Thaumaturgy activated, so I um, whisper quite loudly. To the guy in the cell, friend, we will release you when the fighting is done. Uh, for, um, and then I have to make a decision. Um, all right, I'll bonus action cast spiritual weapon. Uh, ping me where you want to place it, sir. Uh, right. Oh, to flip, what the heck? Mm. That's okay, because you cast a spell, so it's... Just give me a ping, and I'll, I'll take that away. But I'm going to place it right here while I remove that real quick. Uh, and then I will attack... Um... The cold as I've targeted. That strikes. 
So is your that, cog mm. appears, starts spinning softly, and then swings down and 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 you know like a like a mm. magical frisbee I, knocks I, him right in the skull. Is this correct though? I th I think I've got too many bonuses. Is that is that have I attacked with myself? No, that's right. Yeah, that's it, right. It, it attacks with your attack. Mm. Okay. okay. Oh, nice damage. Yeah, knobbed. Wait, plus three? What's the plus three? It's plus your spellcasting level, it says on the, yep. uh, on the oh, description. Okay, right. Yep. Yeah. Spellcasting yeah, yeah, yeah. ability modifier. Nice, nice, nice. So that's why um, your attack was plus three for that so spellcasting ability modifier, and two is your proficiency bonus. Yeah. So in the same way that you saw, so there's a small measure of vengeance here, Elliot. Something you've almost never really felt before. Because you saw Faps fall to Mola Ram's spiritual weapon, your spiritual weapon pops, immediately strikes, mm. max damage. This guy's on the ground. He's got a bleeding blunt. Um, you you cracked him in the side of the skull so hard that there's you know there's blood coming out of his ear, blood coming out of his nose, maybe some out of his eyeball as he falls to the ground dead. I recommend morphine. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Oh, hello. Oh, oh. Out from the room appears a priest. Oh, oh. Right next to his, right next to his fallen. I don't want to call him a comrade, but the fallen individual, and he screams, "What are you fools doing? Take them! Take them!" Oh man. Daka, you're up. All right. I hear that. You do. Try and, see him. and you know it's around that corner, absolutely. I don't see him not yet. Now I see him. I see you, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 let's uh, let's shoot this asshole in the face. Slow on his head. That's you do. Okay, again, your first one misses. You're, you're not doing too well with the first shots, Daka. Maybe you're a little bit, you know, you're still a little worried about combat from yesterday. <laughs> it's making you a little bit unsteady as you peel around this corner. This doesn't normally happen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear, I, it I, it's not usually this fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> What's your, what's your, uh, are you going to bonus attack again, I'm assuming? I'm d thinking whether I should spunk all of my dice or not, but I don't think he's just a dude, isn't he? He's, oh, he's kind of annoying, though. Because, um, like, if you're going to use, like, if you're going to use your resources in a fight, it's best to use them as soon as possible, right? That's the, that's the thing, isn't it? That's the interesting like thing. You're, you're mid-maxing again, Sound like Rick and Wizards. Uh, yeah, I, mm -hmm. I was exactly thinking the same thing. Uh, yeah, it's like, Rick, <laughs> Rick, Rick you, Rick. Rick and the Wizards. Rick, the Reckless Wizards. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Reckless 20 wizards. bucks each. Light lunch all around. Four. If you're going to fireball, fireball turn one because you might Four. cast something. Thank you very much. <laughs> Amazing. Absolutely glorious. Thank you so much. You're and, welcome. Um, wow. Right, what do I. Thank you. And um, what do I do? <laughs> I'm, I'm bamboozled now. <laughs> Um, so yeah, but, no, but it's right though. It's it's not it's not like the wizard, right? But it's just because they're they're like just the same when they're close to death, as if like they're fine, right? Like it's weird, isn't it? D and D is like pretty weird. Um, so you're min maxing again? <laughs> I am. Min no, I'm not min maxing. This is just being tactical. It's not min maxing, is it? It's playing the game, right? Like, come on, you're, like, you're, you're, like that's like saying you're min maxing well, because he for has assisting. One hit point, he's alive. So I'll remind you, though, also that you are allowed to do everything they can, right? So mm. if I'm not going to give them a detriment to being, like, say, at one hit point, mm. then I would have to give you the same, right? No, yeah, no, I get that. I'm just saying the mechanics of the game are such that it's it's greatly it's you're greatly incentivized to kill something, right? <laughs> because then it doesn't. Yeah. If you don't kill it, you might as well do no damage to it. So you you want to focus yeah. fire. You want to kill something, and then also it's. 
combat abilities are heavily weighted to use them in the first round so that you know you in, like you limit their damage right say this guy's doing like 10 damage a round there's no point in like killing them in the second round if you could have you know spunk your points to kill them the second round if you could have spunk your points to kill them the first round holy then shit jim what are you doing <laughs> i'm just thinking about the game okay so six, six <laughs> second turns let's go let's go no, no, i'm just, no, just thinking about the game it's okay it's not allowed to think about he's the game he's re-evaluating his whole life he's, he's, <laughs> so everybody looks over at daka and daka's like this like yeah, intelligence eight, okay. Like my, my oh, blood's coming out of my ears. <laughs> I look like I'm drunk. I'm staggering him. around. Going through his head. Samba. Oh, is, 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 is a to Samba. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just thinking whether I should use like the superiority Jared, dice to hit again. and then do the thing and just shit. Like I could hit him three times, right? And I could probably kill him this round. It's just that I was trying to think whether it was worth killing him this round or not, and uh, it might be. <laughs> but I'm just going to shoot him again. All right. Okay. <laughs> Look at chat, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Less thinking, more shooting. Fuck. Okay, there you go. So you got, you got him that time. That hits him. Casual level that hasn't got minus five. 14. Does 14 hit him? I didn't do damage on the oh, last Oh, you didn't one. do the minus five. No, I saw that, see? Yeah, <laughs> yes, it just hits him. Yes. Right. I mean, it I did do the minus five. It just didn't turn. apply. So, it, yeah. Right. So, 20. 20 again. Not actually 10. All right. Um, and then we'll go back to here. And end the flipping turn. And I'll say, get in there, Elon. <laughs> wow. For faps. <laughs> okay, um, Jimmy, what, or Jimmy, I'm sorry, Dimitriev, what, um, what do you think Elon would do here? Is he going to join you? Is he going to protect Elliot the healer and the other members of the party? Uh, I think he'd join me, to be honest. Uh, I'm not me. No, I'm not me. Um, I think... It I think he would join me because I th I feel like me and Elon are gaining a bond and like much like he looks after Fab. No, no, definitely. But he's going to want to follow like what you would. He's getting used to how you're. Well, I, I don't see myself as threatened. So like protect Heliod. Yeah, yeah. Protect, like he would protect the weak, protect the weak. And uh... so do you think he would take up kind of a position here? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So Faps takes up a position there. You can see him, um, Dimit um, sorry, Adaka and Elliot, and even you, Flargo Snarp, even though you're invisible. You know, he kind of looks behind both his shoulders to make sure that everybody's there. He's got the torch in one hand, his battle axe wielded in one hand in the other. And you can see, man, it's like freaking hold the door, right? Don't let him die. Brilliant. Holy shit. Your we sacrifice will back. be glorious, Elon. No, we won't get Elliot back. We, we can't let him die. We can't let him die. <laughs> Well, he's gonna die. He's just run forward into like five colors. Right, so this uh, this fanatic moves forward and, and goes for his two fuck. dagger strikes on uh, on Elon. He's dead as fuck. He might not even last a round. Jesus. <laughs> he's fucking dead as fuck, man. He has like five hit points and no armor. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, hey! hey! So, oh. as this oh, as this oh. fanatic, we're gonna rewind this a little bit, right? As this fanatic is moving to take his attack, he literally trips over this body right here. What an idiot! And he's gonna <laughs> fall right at right at um, right at Elon's feet. Impaling and, um, himself. With and because it's dagger. a critical failure, um, Elliot, I'm gonna give you, if you want, and I'm sure you're going to take it, an attack with your cog on him. Oh, get bonked on. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to let that happen because this is a critical failure. He came through all his... He hit... He's, you know, he heard the cries from his blood priest to, uh, you know, take them, you fools. And in his zest and vigor to prove himself to the uh, to the priest, he's made a trip. And, and you're right there. You're like, you, you, were, you were ready for this, for something like this to occur. Make it a regular attack there. Yeah, it should just be... Uh, no, it says advantage. Oh, I'm sorry. The... Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Just click advantage because okay. he's down. It's not a ranged attack. Ranged attack is disadvantage. And click your damage there.
And your cog just nails him in the back of the shoulder as he's going down. Flargo Snarp, you're up. Oh, yeah. Okay, no attack of um, of opportunity. He can't see you. All right. I am so fucking ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay. To breathe fire again. You, did you find the template okay? There you go, brother. Perfect. This seems... Do I roll damage instantly? <laughs> That's not what I would have done. <laughs> so, yes, you roll damage, and it's a DC 13 saving throw. So, you spew this, Daka. You see, um, all of a sudden, Flargo Snarp appears to your left in the hallway, right? And you see him immediately as he appears, this vile, green, viscous fluid pours from his mouth and forward into the into the priest and the person behind him. Mm. What a madass, I think to myself. <laughs> I thought I thought Elon was gonna die, but maybe maybe Flagle is. <laughs> what a crazy little goblin. Okay, so both of them make the saving throw. Is it half damage on a DC 13 or is yeah, it no damage? Yeah, half damage. Half damage, okay, and you did seven, so four points of damage to each. And both of them cough a little bit, right? They were able to dodge most of it, but some of that vile poison gets down into their lungs and into their nostrils, and their eyes water a little bit as, they, as, they, as they're coughing like crazy. Yeah. Hate that, fuckers. <laughs> Okay, so the fanatic that Dimmy hit, or that Jimmy hit Dim, um, is down this hallway. The Jimmy, oh, I'm sorry, oh, the, the you know, one, sec. one, yeah, yeah. The Daka hit. He's badly injured. The Daka hit. He's freaking he's gone, dude. He's got that bolt in him, and he's he's just running down the hallway. Wow. What a wuss. I spit blood in his face. Uh, I'm, re I'm really sorry. Uh, I love you last night, and she's looking at me, uh, and has been looking at me for a while now. Um, I think I need to take her outside again. Uh, yeah, take her. I'll play her because you're gonna you're gonna go like crazy. Um, yeah, yeah. By the way, you did not. Um, or did you want to do your bonus action where you disengage from combat and bone the hell out, or? Uh, you, moved, you moved a full moment. 30 feet, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. So that's why I stayed there. Nope, that's right. fine. Okay, so this She's blood good. cultist comes around that corner and um, is going to strike it uh, at Flargo Snarp. Again, right? So <laughs> so this guy, so <laughs> and this time there will be no uh, attack of advantage from Elliot, unfortunately. But he comes out of this corner barreling tries to move past the priest and falls over prone yet next to him again and drops his weapon as well mm. there's my ones boys are you happy you're finally getting them yeah Dimitri, well, you're up sir all right so we are going to we've got him targeted we're gonna hit him with a great axe Okay, um... We're gonna use our inspiration. Room. We're gonna use our inspiration point. Okay, perfect. Good good call. Good call. Uh, and then we're gonna... We're gonna... Ignore the fact that we're grossly incompetent. <laughs> That'll do. Beautiful. That'll definitely do. So you strike him, right? Alright, and then we're gonna do damage. Ugh. And then we're gonna do... Um... Uh, action surge. And we are gonna hit him again. Uh, 
Oh my god, <laughs> man. What the? Okay, that's that then. Yeah, Jesus. So, wow. Okay, so... Dimitriev, I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna put this one in your court because you double rolled this. What do you think happens? I fall over. I butt myself with the blunt end of my axe. And, uh, okay, so give me a give me a dexterity check. In your fervor to swing at this guy, right? You take you take just one of the most overpowered swings you've ever done in your life. Oh, save and throw, hang on. Save and throw? Or, They're just or... a check. Okay, so you, you, you swing really hard, right? You, you, let, we'll say that it, you know, your axe swings and it hits the wall and starts to rebound into you. And, it, and indeed, the, the, the blunt center shaft does hit against you, but doesn't do any real damage to you. Um, I'm going to say your next attack is a disadvantage for it. As your okay. for your for yeah. your critical miss. That's fair. That's fair. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Two attacks on Flargle. <laughs> First one hits <laughs> for four points of damage. Second one misses. This blood cultist can't move through. He's going to move to right there. This um, is going to take his two dagger strikes at you, Dim. First strike. I'm, that's a miss, I think. Yeah, 16. that's a miss. 16. And a 14 again. So two strikes miss you, Dim. So he's seen this overpowered strike on that you were going to make, and it kind of flubs him a little bit, and he misses with both of his dagger thrusts. He moves in here, not seeing Elliot. Elliot, um, you probably, yeah, you wouldn't have had a, an attack of opportunity set up, or no. I'm sorry, a, a action set up. You, 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 you moved last turn, so he's going to strike at Elon. He doesn't know that that uh, Elliot is there until he sees Elliot. That does hit. Second dagger strike hits again. Elliot the Nam, you're up, sir. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, I, I see, I see Elon under attack, and immediately, you know, um, I'm, 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 I'm thinking about previous events that have transpired. So, I have very little regard for my own safety, and I move over to here. Incurring an attack of opportunity. Oh, critical hit on you. Uh oh. Six points of damage. And am I prevented from moving or anything like Absolutely that? Absolutely not. No, you okay. you you're there. If he had tried, if he was trying to grapple you, something along those lines, that would be different. Okay, so uh, I target Elon and cast Shield of Faith. 
Is that the is that the one that's concentration? Oh shit, yes it is. Shit, fuck. Maybe not, cock. Maybe not a good <laughs> idea to cast that then. <laughs> Did you uh, want to? Did you want to take that back, Elliot? I'll let you take that back. No, I don't take it back. Um, I'm sort of, you know, o overcome by my desire to protect, um, you know, to protect Elon. So I, I cast Shield of Faith, and uh, the other you know, blessed, you know, turns off. I guess. Uh, and and then I, <laughs> I get me potion out, <laughs> and I, I I administer it to Elon. And you've still got a bit of movement left as well. Yeah. You said shield of faith. Let me put that on him. Oh, uh, right. I think... I think, did we say that plus two healing doesn't happen? Correct, because it's a potion. Yeah, so it's just 13 then. Um... No, so good. right right before your eyes, all of his dagger thrusts over the over like a two second period all heal up instantly. All of his damage is gone. He still has holes in his in his jerkin. He still has, you know, the blood that was pouring from the wounds across the jerkin. But he looks down immediately after you quaffing the potion down his throat and looks at you with a with an air of, of thanks and immediately braces again for combat. And I move away to him, I back up. To Dimitriov, you know, my back against his, and, uh, and that's it. All right, Daka, you're up. Uh, it's the blood oh, no, I'm sorry, Blood Priest is up. I apologize. Blood Priest is up. And he immediately casts his Spirit Guardian spell. And his eyes fill with this, 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 this rage of, of just focus, right? Like, like a, a burning rage to make sure that if he's not going to get out of here alive, neither are you. No, oh, Elio, you forgot your, uh, you forgot your spiritual weapon attack. Ah, uh, that's a bonus action. Yeah. And I use my bonus action to cast uh, uh, shield of faith. Oh, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Um, Doc, right. you're up, sir. Yep. Do prawn guys still get an attack of opportunity? I'm going to say no in this case because it was a critical for critical miss. Right, cheers. Just want to know. Okay, I'll do a normal shot at the uh, at the spirit guardian's fella. Twelve. And that misses. That flies over his shoulder. Okay. Well, I've got to, I've got to kill him this turn, so I will uh, make it a precision attack. Fifteen. That does so. You're adding two, correct, for the precision. Yep. Yes. Yeah, so that does. So now that bolt does strike. So roll for your regular damage, then hit your other formula for your additional damage. Right. Uh, no, that doesn't do additional damage. It's just okay. It's just thank you. So just roll for the damage then. Yep. And then I'll have him do his con check here in a second. Yep. So eight damage. So it's a it's either half damage or DC ten, whichever is greater. So he's he, he makes it his spell stays active. Yep, and uh, I will just shoot him normally again. Yeah, because I'm not blessed anymore. Yeah, remember, make sure not to roll. Good, okay, thank you. Because I saw the disadvantage pop there. Yeah, no. All right, so that strikes. Roll for damage, please. Uh, hang on, do, do we just do the one concentration check, or do we do one for each bit of damage? It's for each one. So, for instance, he would... Each time um, hit, yeah. So, yeah, so if, if, if you attacked him and Dimitriev attacked him and Daka attacked him, he would have three different con checks all the way through to his next turn. Oh, but I mean, I mean, da Daka, Daka does two attacks. So is, is, it just, is it just one check for those two attacks? No, no, it's each time you hit. No, it's, it's one for oh. any time he takes, any time there's a chance to break his concentration. Oh, sorry. So you, you did the same. You, you did it. You already did it. Yeah, he succeeded yes. the first Sorry, time. I wasn't paying attention. I thought you no, missed No, no problem. So eight points, you said? Um, probably, yeah. <laughs> yep, eight. Uh, 
And then a con save here. DC 10 again. All right, so now his Spiritual Guardians drops. Ooh. And uh, you fold five, I guess. <laughs> Should still be pretty safe. Uh, maybe I could even go up here. I can see more things. And the flip and turn. Maybe I should have still shot with a minus five, I don't know. It does so much damage, it's probably worth it, isn't it? But I guess there's more chance to break his concentration. Okay, so you've taken two attacks so far. What would the third attack be from? No, no, that's it. No, I was saying I should have, maybe I should have done the minus five. Okay. Um, so Elon immediately just... swings at the downed opponent. Seeing him kind of flub down onto the ground in front of him, he immediately takes a strike at him. With advantage. Absolutely. Striking. So his battle axe comes down right in the center of his back. Should he not be dead? <laughs> Does that not kill him? <laughs> this blood fanatic stand he's gonna take his entire turn because it was a critical miss to stand up, grab his dagger, and ready himself again. Right, I'm going to have a wee. I'm determining that that's what it's going to take because it was a critical miss. It wasn't just a traditional prone. All right, Flargo Snarp, we have not gone with your turn yet, just so you know what's going on. You've been approached by several of them. The Blood Priest moved in, cast his um, spell of spiritual guardians, and it was immediately broken by Daka's crossbow fire. Is it my turn now? Yes, sir, it is. All right. Um, well, seeing that, I in order to hit the blood priest, might need to move here. So I disengage and do that. Yep. You use your you use your goblin wits to disengage, incurring no attacks of opportunity. Yeah, and then uh, I breathe fire back. Back in that direction. Yeah. Or yeah, I mean toxic gas outside of. Outside. Yep, your poisonous green vile rapola. Yeah. All right, give me your damage. Let's see some high dice here for once. Come on. There we go. That's a little better. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. So first uh, saving throw. So he failed. Um, boom. So the the he ingests a full breath of this. Right. This. I mean, he's just. He, he sucks it all down his nostrils. And you just, he he starts to vomit all over himself. It's just pouring out of his mouth as he falls over dead. Saving throw for the second one. Fails as well. Get in, Dido. Again, he's so, he takes another full ingestion. He's hot, hacking and coughing nowhere near as bad as the last guy, but he takes a full one. I'm going to say that this man, because he's down because of a critical failure, is going to do his um, saving throw at disadvantage. We, uh, he's ga he's gasping for air, right? So he's... Well, he, he, he just, it's a dexterity saving throw. He's on the ground. What's he going to do? Roll hard to the right? You know, he's, yeah. <laughs> you just pour it over him. So he Wait. does make it. He is somehow able to, to, maybe it's because he's so low and you're aiming up, who knows? Yeah. But he only takes half damage. Yeah, because I want to breathe into the other's faces, right? Exactly. <laughs> Let me uh, track those dead bodies out of the way for a sec. That's all. Yep. And then the, the priest makes his as well. Fucking course he does. <laughs> of course he bloody does. That's the that's the one that I wanted to kill. That's the reason I did this. <laughs> Put myself in harm's way next to these two. Idiots. No, that's it. But again, I mean, you're 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 pummeling yeah. these guys down pretty good. 
Oh, and that's, I'm assuming Flargo. that's the end of your turn, Flargo. We needed that. We needed that. Yeah, that was big. Yeah, I mean, this is the one. No, I have two good spells, but you're not letting me use the other one. <laughs> I, I, I'm not letting you use it. <laughs> All right, again, critical failure. It's going to take his whole turn to stand up, grab his dagger. I'm sorry, grab his scimitar, ready himself for combat. Dimitri, you're up, sir. I'm just, but there's not much I can do at this point. Uh... Oh my god. That strikes, so you so you 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 reprepare your axe after your critical miss, you re-steady the legs, you swing hard with a nice low left hand upward strike. Holy hell, nice damage. Needed that, hang on, let me see features, so And you strike him dead before you. I mean it just comes uppercut right up into his rib cage and blows him apart. Well, I'm not gonna go quick to us. So with him down, you now have the ability to use any movement you want without an attack of opportunity, obviously. Uh, well, movement-wise, I will move in front of Elliot's, protecting my nom, and then I'm going to throw a cock at this guy. Because <laughs> we, we are in trouble. Let's go. Let's go, Beautiful. So, so you leap around Elliot, right? Your strike comes up. You bring the axe back together. You leap around Elliot, pull with your le your your right hand the Hancock, maybe in like a sideways upward toss. You just chuck that thing right into his face. I need my dexterity check. Dexterity check to retrieve. Beautiful, and you just yank it. So those those critical miss, whatever it did to you, man, it steeled you. You, I mean, it's a beautiful beautiful flow, right? Um, Jesus, that was 21 points of damage on that turn, man. That was pretty. <laughs> jump. <laughs> jump, jump, jump. <laughs> this fanatic comes in to attack um, Flargo. Two dagger thrusts. First misses. Second one misses. So um, your, your deft little goblin legs carry you behind and through and, and, and across again. Uh, this, I'm agile as fuck. Yep, this fanatic swings again at Elon. Now seeing his wounds have closed, looking at the little looking at the little nom, he I mean he gives a growl of disdain at Elliot for for basically healing up what he just, you know, had done the turn before and takes his two dagger thrusts. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a choice. Flargo, you will get a free you'll get a free two stabs with your dagger at him and he maintains his feet and his weapon or he falls again dropping his weapon which would incur an entire turn to stand up grabbing it. Which would you prefer? Sorry, what uh, could you do that again? What, what were the You options? can either get a free two attacks with your dagger cuz it's a critical failure. Yes, at this I want guy. That. No, I want that. You want the attacks? Okay, so roll for two attacks. And I'll give them to you even at advantage because of the critical failure here. I like how we've killed off all the combatant cultists and we're just left with, like, the shit ones. <laughs> okay, damage, oh, please. Advantage. Ah, 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 save me for a one. <laughs> it makes sense, right? Target the ones with the less, the less HP to get rid of them. Oh no, that was an attack. Sorry. That's okay. Um, just roll damage. It's like, how, how, how can I get four? You're, you're gonna, damage. you're gonna get both. Don't worry, both hit. We're just gonna take both. Roll the, roll the d4 plus two again for me. Uh, the damage. Yes, because I'll count that second attack as an attack. Cheers. All right, AI is says I have to roll the attack again. That's fine. And then just roll your damage. You hit him a third time. Congratulations. <laughs> oh. Elliot the Nom, you're up, sir. All right, so bonus action. 
My cog moves towards the priest. Yes, kill him. Beautiful. And attacks. No. Oh, so close. Oh, with, with so a miss. Close. Get, get out of here. Um, <laughs> uh, I think I just stay where I am in place behind um, Dimitriov. And I cast Sacred Flame on the priest again. Oh, get him out of here. By the way. Get Sorry? Him. We've run out of bless. No, we've not run out. Oh, I have. Like, no one's glowing. No, yeah, I cancelled it. I cancelled it. He's concentrating it. on the other one. He's on, on saving. saving He's keeping you lot up. Oh, wait, I did. Oh, no, I meant to do damage, yeah. And then you do the saving throw. Yeah. God damn you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the Blood Priest is going to cast. Oh god, let's see. He's he's pretty pissed at, at little uh little Florgo Snarp here. He's gonna cast guiding bolt at Florgo Snarp. He is he in, in in normality, so this guy is is he's voracious, right? Normal times he would have cast healing to heal himself. He's beyond pissed, right? You guys have come into his domain, you're now down into the third level here. He wants you dispatched, he's thrown all caution to the wind. He's also going to cast it as a third level spell. I don't have any way of interrupting a spell there. So, um, so it strikes. Not that I know of, not unless you can show me something that would let you do that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Oh, wow, that was bad roll. 18 points of, and it's not radiant, we'll call it uh, uh, death magic, something else. Blood magic, we'll make something up, who cares. <laughs> 18 points of damage. Ruh-roh. It's a bit rowdy. <laughs> you can say that. I feel like uh... <laughs> I may not, might not be in the best spot here right now. <laughs> no, you did charge it in the middle of all the enemies, to be fair. That's okay, though. That's okay. <laughs> Daka, you're up. It's, now, you Someone see Fargo Snarp. You coward. So, <laughs> Snarp also has this soft blue glow around his body, which is... it's it's It actually draws the attention a little bit of the cultists around him. And, mm. and you've just seen this guiding bolt fly into him from the Blood Priest. Hits him dead center of his chest. And he kind of moves back, a, a, you know, a foot, a foot and a half as this this hideous, dark red, bloody bolt just penetrates his chest. Brutal. Right, I'm going to nail him with a normal attack. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so, wow, okay. So uh, give me, make another roll. Give me a dexterity saving throw. We'll say it DC 12. If you fail it, your your bolt is going to have hit Elon. No problem. You just make it. So your bolt misses high. He was, did you hear he was about to say 14? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to say you're lower. So he's aiming at the blood priest. So you, I could have said or Flargle, but I, I think the larger target immediately in front of him would have been more would have been more appropriate. Right, well, there we go. Um, we shall shoot him again with a bonus action. <laughs> I don't see any uh, um, uh, amazing attacks here, Jim. What's, where's your abilities? Well, there's, there's no point, right? He's nearly dead, and I don't have bless. All right, 17 hits? Yep. All right, let's see some good damage here. Seven. Seven. I'll use... An, I'll use... I'll use a... a, a Special dice. <laughs> precision attack again, I'm assuming? Uh, no, no, like triple menacing. It just because the, the precision is to hit and, and menacing or trip is to do more damage. So Okay, so I which one are you using then? We'll do menacing. Okay. Hopefully this does enough to finish it. Yeah, seven. That's got to kill him. 
Okay, so that's that bolt. It strikes and it strikes really, really hard into him. Right, puts him down. Whoa. Get menaced, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um. So he can come in. Oh no, he Dadle's gonna stop that guy. So I guess I'm still safe here. So yeah, I'll. Uh, I guess I can still go back the way. <laughs> no reason not to go back. <laughs> daka daka. All right. So the um, Elon is gonna swing at this blood fanatic. Hold on one sec. Let me take the target off. Again, that's my least favorite part of this. And his 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 battle axe swing misses, unfortunately. This blood fanatic here is going to take his his two swings at Flargle Snarp. First one is an advantage because of the guiding bolt. Then the Guiding Bolt advantage fails. <laughs> Critical hit. Oh man, look at that. Minimal damage, four points of damage. Look at Give me one second to get rid of the Guiding Bolt on him. All right, that's gone. Second attack. Strikes. Flargo Snarp takes another four points of damage. Not dead yet. <laughs> Flargo, you're up, sir, man. You're you're bleeding from just about every orifice in your body, brother. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just coughing very loudly and inadvertently as I'm coughing. <laughs> I'm coughing out toxic. <laughs> toxic yeah, I'm uh, sorry, I'm coughing all over you as I'm near death. Yeah. Uh because like the dragon's breath is still active. Uh so the uh the coughing is just just filled with toxic fumes. Uh yep. beautiful, hit it, let's see what happens. Give me some good damage. Nope. Yeah. Back to shit damage. Okay, first one with his uh, saving throw. Successful, so four points of damage. It is just enough, though. This is his, I think this is actually his third inhalation of this poison, right? <laughs> and this one just, I mean, you're, yeah, he's, at this point, his eyes have turned, like, green. His skin is green. Um, it's it's you know he's got so much in his bloodstream now that he just he, that's it. It's over for this guy. Can to evade it, but like too much toxic, it's not good for anyone. <laughs> there is such thing as too toxic, Thor. There is. Right, this one, as calcium can attest to, <laughs> makes his saving throw. He's still holding on. He's taking a few few big puffs. He, he's, he's 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 puffed your magic dragon a few times. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, I use my last uh, my my last wits and uh, yeah, behind energy Elliot. energy to uh, to nimbly escape uh, and pinpoint like pin between these guys. No, 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 no. Yeah. He's, he's doing the DACA going to the end zone. <laughs> <laughs> Toxic showboating from Flygel <laughs> Oh, you're up, sir. I'm going to move in. I'm going to do sweeping attack. Nice. Wait, is it a full action to chug a potion? It is, right? Elliot, what did we say? Did we say that that's an act? An act that is an action, yeah, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, all right. So, which one are you striking? Okay, there it is. Thirteen. Thirteen uh, does strike. So, first, first strike hits. I re-roll that. I re-roll yep. that. Re that damage. 
due to your feat of great great axe fighting, great weapon fighting. Oh my god, I can't remember. I just re-rolled it, didn't I? Do you, do you remember the, the the die at the bottom that looks like the D, the the it's the second one from the right? Just click. There you go. Well, that you could do that too, and then can you get the damage also, or no? That's your. That's my. Oh, that's my attack roll. All I need is a D12, and we can. There we go, brother. Okay, so seven plus, and I think it's a plus plus D8. three, so ten points of damage. Plus the D8 as well, right? No, 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 one of them, like, if I hit the first one, I can hit the second one. Oh, does it, does it only do D8 to the second one? Yeah, that is the sweeping attack, so it's a D8 of worth of damage to another um, uh, opponent yeah, within five uh, feet. So it gets the superiority die rather than on the two. Exactly. And five points of damage, there we go. I mean, yep, that's the first so nice. I can do, Jim. Oh, yeah. Good strikes there. No, I just thought it was. I thought it was like going to do D it, an extra D to both of them, right? But yeah, only does. Extra okay, so he moves up here sense. and two strikes onto Dimitriov. I was like, that's amazing. I thought to myself, actually, no, it's like the other superiority dice. Fifteen misses. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And oh. okay, so I'll give you Elian once again, my friend, as he's moving past you. He actually is going... Well, it's his second attack, though. Um, Dimitriov, I'm going to give you a free attack with your Hancock, if you want it. Woohoo! It's not... It's... it's, it's <laughs> I'm going to say... Yeah, I'm going to give you a reaction with that, because it was... Otherwise, I would have given Elliot the attack because of running by him, but it is a free... It's the second attack, not the first. It won't let me... Uh, it won't let me do it. Um, just, just open your thing, hit your Hancock, and then um, uh, roll the, the attack die. There we go. There you go. This is this does not cost a superiority die. This is a free attack. Uh, okay, so you miss. Now roll for your recovery. You're going to make me lose my Hancock. <laughs> Base it. Baited. Okay, so yeah, so <laughs> you do drop the Hancock as a result, but it's all right. I mean, it's a free attack. So is this one again at um, at Elon? He still has your bonus, Elliot. You're maintaining concentration. That one, that's a little bit irrelevant, though. So first dagger strike sinks into him. Second dagger strike misses. Elliot the Nom, sir. Okay, so I obviously see Flag or Snark come hopping back down the tunnel from the from the cultist near death, um, and immediately my thoughts go to to healing him. I invoke uh, the chief engineer. Chief engineer, I beseech you, but I can't quite get the words out. My faith, such that it is, is is shaken. Um, I I. And, and, and I and I do not complete the uh, you know the the, the channeling of the divinity, uh, and I and I lose the 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 use of the channel divinity thing. You know I I, I you know I expend the charge, uh, and instead I uh, I cast um, cure wounds, uh, nice and simple at uh, at level two I guess. I I reach out to Daedalquist instead I. I drop the cog on the floor and I reach out to Daedalquist, uh, grasp his shoulder. Healing for 16. Okay, so I'm going to let you make this make this determination, Elliot, since you, 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 your faith's a little bit broken. Do you get your bonus of plus two healing on this? I, I think so. That's yeah. I think so. Okay. It's, it's um, so yeah, sixteen yeah, I points of healing. Your true friend. <laughs> uh, so even oh. though even though you tried to do your channel divinity, mm -hmm. even though you know the maybe maybe your faith didn't work, maybe your whether it's your faith in yourself, whether it's the chief engineer's faith in you, whatever, 
you drop the cog, but immediately you feel this amazing healing power surge from you. Um, also, give me a um, religion check, please. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So when you drop your cog, your cog snaps in half. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I need to find some scissors. <laughs> <laughs> so your faith is such, right, that, and you don't know why, because this is a, this is a pretty solid piece of copper, right? This is not something that dropping it from three feet should snap it in half. You know, it didn't, a mm, hammer didn't oh. fall on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's broken. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, I, I, I see the events unfolding before me. Um, but you know, I, I'm, I'm still resolved to aid my allies. Uh, so my, my, my thought, you know, my thoughts continue being with them. And I, you know, I leave the cog, the broken cog on the floor. Uh, bonus action. Uh, I move the nobbler in. Uh... The nobbler. <laughs> Man, Elliot's all kind of broken, dude. <laughs> this poor guy. Uh, attack the middle cultist. And that strikes true. This cog so isn't broken. <laughs> no, so, it, so this is very interesting, right? So you aren't able to invoke your channel divinity, which goes straight to your liege, to your mm. patron. Yeah. But the magic flowing from you, the healing magic, and then the attack magic flowing from you do not fail or waver in any way. Well, the the electromagnetic field, you know, that permeates the world, you know, still still permeates me, but you know, my my faith in the chief engineer is, is certainly uh wavering here. And then that cog hit again, man. Elliot's on a mission to kill everything in sight. <laughs> right? He strikes again with this with it with his his cog that's floating, and there's a bit of irony there, right? Because his holy symbol has fallen to the ground, yet the cog that he conjured still remains mm. and, is, and has killed yet another opponent. What a badass. Daka, you're up, sir. Yep, I'll move over here, shoot at this fella with a crossbow. Pew. Got him. Daka actually hits. Six. So you 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 shoot Whoa. him in the chest Whoa. again. Well, he just he just healed. Healed him for six <laughs> instead of damaging for six. <laughs> Dagger, whose side do you want? Sorry. <laughs> I like how you Don't guys use like, the gun that heals that the right cultists. Away, right? Like everybody's <laughs> chimed in and like, okay, is he dead? Is he dead? Is he is dead? He, dead? Well, he just oh. got healed. <laughs> so yeah, so you strike him right in the chest again, and he's hobbled. Right, he's he's on his last like he's starting to cough up blood. Um, his weapon, even though he's, you know, you know he can still strike, his weapon is held a little bit. His arms kind of fall slightly to his sides. There we go. And bonus action. Try and finish him off. Oh, yes. Yeah, and that one just takes him. Jeez. Just you know, the, the second, then this one hits him dead center in the chest, maybe just to the right of the first. And he's just blown backwards off his feet and, and down on the floor dead. Glorious. Smoked him. And then, <laughs> does opening a door count as an action? Yes, it does. During combat, it does. Uh, uh, could open, I could open. I was thinking I could open more doors because combat's about to be over. But I guess I won't. I'll just, I'll just go. I'll just stay here. <laughs> here he goes, mid maxing again, baby. I love mm. my gym. Hmm. Got to haven't you? Okay, Elon is going to move up next to Dimitriov. At this point, he's there's only one enemy that he can see left. Nobody else has emerged from the whatever room that is ab uh, above you all. And misses with that attack. Flargo Snurp, you're up. Um, yeah, I move in, invigorated by Elliot's healing. I've regained confidence. 
I mean, I never lacked confidence. I just have some pre self-preservation. Uh, that's gone again. <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. above half health. <laughs> now, now that I'm healed, I'm going in to die. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm more than half health. Like, that's way more than I need. Uh, so, I start uh, exhaling. I'm still coughing a bit. Uh, some spurts of blood still uh, intermixed with this toxic air. Uh... Alright, let me have that damage. Let's see it. <laughs> there are three out of four times I've rolled a seven. <laughs> okay, and he makes the save, so he takes four points. And, uh, well, again, self-preservation. <laughs> yeah, without a doubt. That's, that, that's why that ability is there. <laughs> Dimitri, up, you're up, sir. All right, let's go. Uh... Oh, I can just... <laughs> wow. Attack from here. Oh, shit, I did it with a one inch. Hold on. Uh, let me uh, just cancel that. I can, yeah. See, the, the problem with... The only problem with this, this one is you don't know which one rolled first. So, you're good. You hit. So four points of slash oh, damage. No, no, I can re-roll that. Oh, was, I'm sorry, you rolled a two. Yes, do that. Uh, wait, wait, you're, that's your, your, Hancock, your, not your uh, yeah, you're rolling with the Hancock. You need to roll damage with your great axe. Uh, yeah, this has all been Hancocks. Oh, so I just rolled again from. Uh... Yeah, just just roll the attack. It will automatically hit even if you miss. It's okay. I'm gonna just gonna say you hit. We just need to get the damage in there. Oh, it's coming up with martial melee. Is it because I'm not... Do I need to move here first? Are you rolling with the great axe? Uh, hang on. No, if you're if you're within five feet, it will assume it's a it's a hand axe attack, not a throw. It says martial melee. I don't know why. Proficient. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Attack. Okay, now roll for your damage there with the Great Axe, please. Because the first one did hit. Four. There we go. Thank you. So another very bold um, bold strike comes right down into him, right? It's, it, it guts him like a fish. He's still alive, but, you know, maybe some of his entrails are slightly slightly appearing uh, through his, from his stomach area. Dimitrov is considering whether or not to use a superiority die, I'm assuming. Uh... Unfortunately, you don't have the Hancock with you. No, that's it. that's it. I thought so. Okay, so he at the at the at the the last strike that is 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 sure to take his life, right? He knows I'm done. He's gonna stab back at Dmitriov in a in a vein. He 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 takes up some blood and he spits it in your direction while he strikes with two with two dagger thrusts. <laughs> so sixteen hits, right? Yeah. Yep. All right. So the first one pierces into you for five. The second one misses. Elia the Numb, you are up, sir. Uh, well, bonus action. Um, noble the guy. <laughs> Elliot is just wrecking everybody. Elliot is the new little Jimmy. <laughs> hey, now, I killed a number this way. <laughs> and that strikes. 
So the cog again comes back with, with you know, just hit somebody. Holy hell, <laughs> So the cog comes comes back around and, and just smokes this guy right between the eyes, right? Near death. Well, oh no, dead. Oh no, he's 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 dead, dead. He's not nearly dead. Okay, well then I cast the spell that I meant to cast last turn but forgot. Um, okay. <laughs> Uh, I think, yeah, I, I think so. I'm, I'm, I'm compelled to cast it. I think. Um, prayer of healing. Um, and so, to myself and to Flagglesnap and to Dimitriov and to uh, Elon. Uh, I restore thirteen HP. Each? Each, yeah. Holy I'm shit. I'm pretty sorry. sure. Each regain, yeah. yeah within each regain within range and yeah. whom you can see. So everybody regains 13 hit points whom he called out, which is everybody. Yep. Dacker was unharmed. Glorious bit of Dackering. <laughs> so I only lost one HP. <laughs> so what's, what's interesting about this, right? So as combat comes to an end... Um, Wherever that other cultist went, dude, you can't even hear footfalls anymore. He's gone. The one who went off down this uh, down this tunnel to the right. Mm. You see, I don't want to call it an awakening in Elliot, right? Because we know he's not, he's still not Elliot. But did he, I mean, this was a combat, though, that would, and I'll let you handle this, Elliot. But his healing went off without a hitch. His combat spells went off without a hitch. Yes, he broke his 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 um, magical. Uh, I'm sorry, his um, his holy symbol, his his cog, but everything else went literally perfect. He dispatched four different enemies. He healed everybody. He he saved Flargo Snarf from near death. He saved Elon from near death. This is you know from what you saw yesterday in combat down in these tunnels to to what you saw today in combat down in these tunnels is just a night and day thing. And Dmitrievich, I mean it. If there was anybody who was going to receive a battlefield commendation, it would have been it would have been Eliod back in your days in the military. You recognize this like instantly. I stroll over to Eliod and I uh, give him a nudge on the shoulder and then offer the warrior's clasp where we uh, grab each other's forearms, uh, wondering if he knows what that is. I remain stiff, unmoving, I give him a somber look. We got lucky. I got lucky. I failed to ward you. I failed to heal the party in a timely manner. Um, you know, I made mistakes. I wasn't good enough. And I turn around and say, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. Good job. <laughs> um... <laughs> like, like, I like, <laughs> like, a, like a dog I, looking at the dinner bowl when it's I, not filled, right? I, like, huh? <laughs> I am nonplussed, uh, uh, and I remain silent. <laughs> I'm that, assuming what you meant by that, Demetra, was everybody makes mistakes. You did a great job, even well, though you like, think you... I, I, yeah, as a, a warrior and a combatant, like. If someone tried to give me a compliment, I would brush it uh, brush it aside, and he brushed my compliment aside, and it, it okay, like okay, I can see that, and it like it inspires me and makes me happy, and like and like I like I'm just like yeah, good job, beautiful good job, good um, shooting, Elliot. <laughs> yeah, no, that was you know that it was it, like I said, it's I mean everybody knows is night is night and day, right? Yesterday, Elliot was prone, fetal. <laughs> next to a next, you know, away from the dead body of Faps, and today he's he's crushing people like he's little Jimmy, right? It's, I mean, it's, mm. and, and he's it, still it's, giving I, himself a hard time. About I didn't it. get anybody well, killed today, did I? But I could have done. Well, but oh, that's the thing, right? So Elliot's got some choices done. now to make for next time because he was broken as a result of yesterday's actions. Today it went exactly the opposite, right? Elliot, Elliot has no has no mean. Elliot is either on, on the peak or in the valley, right? There's there's no mean to his graph. Um, he does not grade on the curve. It's a yikes say. graph. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we find ourselves, um, the entire party's, uh, your breathing starts to slow. Elon looks over at, at Dimitriov and, and gives you a nod. 
um, looks down. He looks down also to you, Ellie, and walks over and does the same. He reaches out in the same grasp of a forearm to ri- um, hand, forearm to hand with you, and simply nods at you and just simply says, thank you. Thank you, sir. And turns his back and takes up position again next to Dimitriov. He doesn't wait for your response. It's a very, you know, it's 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 a very, uh, it's very poignant. I mean, he's making eye contact with you. He's he's now seeing the value of this party as well. I I, uh, I don't say anything, but I, I I meet his gaze as he nods at me. So as we fade out of this scene, right again, right, we fade to black as usually happens at the end of our episodes, and 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 the camera comes back into focus again. We're once again back in Victa, right? And we see little Jimmy. And little Jimmy is now in um, in Kalon the, thir- the Turd, Kalon's office. And he's got tears pouring down his face. Oh. Right? And he's looking. He will not make eye contact with Kalon at all. And Kalon and, and, and Kalon is looking at him with a very, very stout, very firm face, very stern, very disappointed, right? Like the, like the first time that, not when you disappoint, right? Everybody knows what it was like to disappoint dad. We were all stupid as kids. But when you disappointed grandpa, it hurt the heart, right? When you, when you, when you did something wrong around your grandfather, somebody that you, that you know nothing, you know, very little discipline and all love from. And this is, he's, and he is a broken kid too. And he looks at, um, and Kalon looks down at him. And Kalon looks over at the priest, and Kalon says, "He needs to leave with you. He needs to join the priesthood. He needs to depart to Full Point. We can't have this happening. He's too good a man for this. Too good a young man for this." Oh no, poor little Jimmy. We've got to and save we, him. And- and then, and then we fade to black. <laughs> wow. I can't help but think, Daka, this is all your fault. It's not my fault, okay? I didn't <laughs> find out he was an orphan until after we'd abandoned him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, thank you very much. Elliot, Jeff. fantastic roleplay today, man. Yeah, amazing. Elliot's the best, isn't he? What a legend. What a legend. And uh, yeah, thank you very it's much, not Jeff. About to leave us. Glorious. Thanks, everybody. We've already lost him. It's all over. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe (laughs) and stay fantastic.